Hello and welcome to our channel about science and space. Today, we are going to discuss the fate of the flags left on the moon by the Apollo astronauts. This topic is very interesting and intriguing, both from a history and science point of view. If you are ready, let's get started. In July 1969, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin made history by landing on the moon as part of the Apollo 11 mission. One of the most symbolic events of this historic moment was the planting of the American flag on the lunar surface. It took only 10 minutes for the flag to be planted during Armstrong and Aldrin's nearly two and a half hour moonwalk. However, this short-lived action brought great controversy. The question, who owns the moon, became an important topic in the field of vexillology, flag science. Historian Matthew Ward of the University of Dundee notes that the American flag is a powerful symbol that has appeared at every significant moment in American history. From the Apollo moon landings to the flag rising from the rubble of the Twin Towers on 9 11 we see it everywhere. Ward says, No other flag is as loaded with meaning as the American flag. The stars and stripes express the spirit, history, and identity of a nation. Ward says, in a report prepared for NASA in the 1990s, Ann Platoff emphasizes that Apollo 11's flag planting was purely symbolic. Since the United States is a signatory to the United Nations Outer Space Treaty, it has not made any territorial claims on the moon. Therefore, the planting of the flag sparked international controversy, and Congress prohibited NASA from planting flags of other countries or international organizations on the moon. Platoff explains that these legislative measures were intended to prevent the presence of the American flag on the lunar surface from causing an international crisis. Platoff says NASA engineers face several technical challenges in designing the flagpole. Since there is no atmosphere, a horizontal bar was designed to wave the flag, weight, heat resistance, and the astronauts' spacesuits, which limit their mobility, were also taken into account. The flag of Apollo 11 was purchased at a local store in Houston for only $5.50. In an article he wrote for Life magazine, Buzz Aldrin describes the emotional moment of planting the flag. He states that when they were planting the flag, they could only bury the pole a few inches because of the dense soil under the lunar surface, and the flag did not look very solid. Planting the flag on the lunar surface proved more difficult than expected. Apollo 11 astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin faced serious difficulties in planting the flag. The flag was not very stable because the pole used to erect the flag was buried only a few centimeters into the hard layer just below the lunar surface. Just thinking about how Armstrong and Aldrin struggled to plant this flag on the lunar surface makes us realize how difficult and important that moment was. Today we don't know the condition of these flags. It is thought that due to exposure to sunlight, the flags most likely deteriorated through a process called sunburn. Platoff notes that the flags may have become brittle and perhaps shattered. Meteoroid impacts may also have damaged the flags. The six flags were planted on the lunar surface during the Apollo missions, each with a different story. For example, Apollo 17's flag, unlike the others, was displayed in the mission operations control room on previous missions and was planted on the moon by the final moonwalk team. The moon's surface is very different from Earth's and has very harsh conditions. Factors such as the absence of an atmosphere, large temperature variations, and constant exposure to sunlight cause objects on the moon to deteriorate rapidly. Under these conditions, the durability of the flags planted by the Apollo astronauts was severely tested. The flags are likely to have deteriorated through a process called sunburn. This means that the flags were constantly exposed to sunlight and UV rays cause their colors to fade and their materials to deteriorate over time. Platoff says that the flags may have become fragile and perhaps shattered in the process. The lunar surface is frequently exposed to meteoroid impacts. These small stones and particles hit the lunar surface at high speeds and can cause serious damage. The flags planted by Apollo astronauts may also have been affected by such impacts. Such impacts can cause the flags to disintegrate or disappear completely. The current status of six flags on the moon is uncertain. Although images taken by NASA's High Resolution Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, LRO, show that the flags are still standing upright, we cannot be certain about their exact condition without a detailed examination. 
it remains to be seen how long these flags will last in the harsh conditions of the moon. The extreme temperature changes, micrometeoroid impacts, and prolonged sunlight to which the flags were exposed may have caused the material to deteriorate. Vexillology, the science of flags, is the study of the history, symbolism, and use of flags. The flags planted on the moon are of great significance, not only as a triumph of the United States, but also as a symbol of humanity's endeavor to explore space. Matthew Ward from the University of Dundee notes that the American flag is a powerful symbol that appears at every significant moment in American history, from the Apollo moon landings to the flag rising from the rubble of the Twin Towers on 9-11ths, we see it everywhere. For those who believe that the Apollo moon landings were faked, Platoff says that such conspiracy theories are easy to disprove and that there is ample evidence to prove the authenticity of the Apollo landings. Those who think the moon landings were faked should develop critical thinking skills. Is it more likely that everyone involved in the Apollo program perpetuated the conspiracy for 55 years? or that the power of science and technology landed a man on the moon, he asks. The legacy of these flags planted on the moon will remain as a symbol of humanity's endeavor to explore space, says Platoff. Whatever the physical condition of the flags, the values and symbolism they represent will remain as a lasting reminder of humanity's exploration of space. The fact that the flags lasted for years on the lunar surface can also be seen as a testament to the engineering achievement and sacrifice of the astronauts. Platoff says the biggest problem behind the spread of conspiracy theories is that people don't use critical thinking skills. Those who think the Apollo moon landings were faked are free to believe whatever they want, but that doesn't mean it's true, he says. Developing critical thinking skills leads to understanding and acceptance of scientific facts. Developing critical thinking skills is vital not only for understanding major events, such as the moon landings, but also for being able to distinguish right from wrong among the information we encounter in everyday life. These skills enable the understanding and application of the scientific method, thus preventing the spread of misinformation and conspiracy theories. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. How do you think the flags left by the Apollo astronauts on the moon would look like today? Share your thoughts with us. See you in the next videos. Bye.